Hello everyone. In today's lecture, we are going to see the commutation process in a DC machine. Let's get started. We know commutation is a process of current reversal, reversal of current in a armature conductors of a DC machine is called as commutation. Now, this is a commutator, it's a brush. This commutator keeps moving at some speed based on the rotor speed. Now we have commutator segments A, B, C. There are three segments and we have different coils lined up. I am assuming the machine is lap wound and two pole machine. Hence, number of parallel paths equal to 2. And there is second assumption that current density at the surface of the brush is constant. I am taking these two dimensions. Now, if we consider the current which is going out is 2 Ia, that is the total current from the brush coming out. It has two parallel paths, so each path is carrying a current of Ia amperes. Okay. Now let us see instant by instant current in a particular coil when brushes when the computer is moving. Let's take instant one. This is instant one. Now, as I said, current is two a m. Current density at the surface is constant. That is, J is constant. Now, here current is two a m means this current must be two a m. From this coil, a m is coming down. And from this coil, IA is coming down. So this current is now IA. IA plus IA, KCL at this node will give us 2IA which will go to the load. Now, it is moving at this is the second instant. Let us call it as instant 2. At this instant, now again current is same, my load current is 2 IA which is constant. As we taken current density is constant, the area in contact with segment A is 3 fourth of brush area. Now in contact with segment B, 1 fourth of brush area. So 3 fourth of 2IA is coming from here, 1 fourth of 2IA is coming from here. So this current is 1 fourth of 2IA and this current is 3 fourth of 2IA. If you apply KCL at this node, if this current is IA, what will be this current? We know this current is 3 fourth of 2 IA means 3 by 2 into IA. So the current which is coming from here is IA by 2. So current which is going here is I A by 2, I A by 2. Now 
if you look at this coil this current is ia now here ia by 2 is going remaining ia by 2 is going here again kcl is valid here also so this ia splits into two parts one is this ia another one is this ia this will go to this now next instant let's call this position as instant 3 at this instant half of brush area is in contact with segment A and remaining half of brush area is in contact with segment B which means this half area half area now half of 2IA is coming from here half of 2IA is IA half of 2IA is coming from here which is IA again if you apply KCL at this node IA is traveling like this yes satisfied so the current coming from this coil is zero in the same fashion here IA is traveling like this Now current which is going here is 0 amperes. Now, next instant. When it is traveling further, now in contact with segment A, one fourth of brush area, in contact with segment B, three fourth of brush area. So here, this current is one by two into I A, and this current is three by two into I A. Some of these two will be giving us two I A, which is fed to the load. Now, if you apply KCL at this node. IA is coming from this coil, half of this IA is coming down, so a remaining half of IA is going up. So current flowing in this coil is now half of IA upwards, which means we will take it as downward minus IA by 2. Here, this half of IA is coming down. Yes. Now, this half IA and this IA is adding up to 3 by 2 IA. Now, for the instant. At this position 5, brush is completely in contact with segment B. So now there is no current which is coming from segment A completely 2IA is coming from this segment. So this is 2IA. So now IA is coming from this side IA is coming from this side to IA. So this IA will be now traveling like this downwards, downwards in this dotted coil. So I'll consider the same as upward minus IA. Now this sums up to 2 IA, which is fed to the load. Now further from 5 onwards let's proceed further still further now same IA now 
this direction IA will be traveling. A commutation process will happen to this coil. Previously, commutation was happened to this coil. Now, this is a coil which is under commutation. Prior to this, is this is already commutated before. So, this coil will maintain minus IA current. This is how current reversal happens in the current conductor under commutation, coil under commutation. Let's see at different instants. It keep going on like that. Let's plot the current at a different instance. At instant 1, let's go back to instant 1. At instant 1, this coil, our focus is on this coil. The coil current is IA. At instant 1, the current flowing through the coil is IA. At instant 2, the current flowing through the coil is IA by 2. At instant 3, the current flowing through the coil is 0. At instant 4, the current flowing through the coil which is under commutation is minus IA by 2. Now current has gone negative. At instant 5, this is minus IA. Now from 5 onwards, it will keep maintaining same minus IA. So, if you plot the same here, at instant 1, we have plus IA, yes, at instant 2, we have plus IA by 2, at instant 3, we have 0, at instant 4, minus IA by 2, at instant 5, minus IA. And from 5 onwards, it will keep maintaining minus IA. Now, if I join all these points and further, this is what the commutation. Ideally, this is how current changes its path from positive IA to negative IA. So, this is how commutation takes place. Here are the points to be remembered is, we consider J to be constant, that is current density is constant, that's a very important point. As J is constant, at breast, as breast position is moving, current density is same, current value is linearly decreasing. Hence, it is also called as linear commutation. Thanks for watching the video. If you want us to discuss any topic in electrical engineering, please write to us through comment section below. And please subscribe to our channel for more updates. Thank you.